Well, we're trying to get out of here, but this is the current situation with all the snow. The truck is covered in snow. Let me flip this around. So we got dumped on the snow last night and then we got about six inches of snow. So I'm just clearing it off. And we still gotta load everything up in the back before we get on the road. So I'm just hoping that the snow clears and we can get on the road here in the next day or two. Check this out, the window's completely frozen. Windshield's completely frozen with snow and ice. Snow and ice, snow and ice. Can't even wear boosted motorsports. Snap back, cause it's just too frozen and cold out. So let's do an actual real cold start. Demonetized, and we'll start it. We need to get an exhaust on this thing, though. She's pretty quiet, so I'm gonna let this thing thaw out. We'll get the heat cranked in here. Perfect winter vehicle, Dodge Viper powered Ram short cab, two wheel drive with huge 305 summertime Pirellis. Yeah, we're good to go, boys. Let's go hit that snow. I don't think we're leaving today. Look at all that snow. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush off all the snow, but still gonna pack. I don't think I'm gonna be leaving today with like six inches of snow on top of the truck. It's not nice out. Okay, snow is all cleared off. So now I gotta pack this girl full of my stuff so we can get out of here as soon as that clears. All right, so it is nighttime. We did a bunch of plowing and cleaning out snow and I had a chance to pack a bunch of stuff. So this took me a long time, pretty much all day. As you can see, it's now nighttime outside. And I got all my stuff in here, a bunch of my tools and stuff that I finally need to bring back home. So I got everything loaded up. This thing is completely packed. I wanted to take my toolbox, but I didn't have enough room. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to buy another toolbox there. I figured it's better to take the tools rather than a empty toolbox. So I can always buy another toolbox, but this is all full of my stuff for the most part that I've left here from a while back. So anyways, we're let it ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and we're actually gonna go visit my grandparents before I take off, so I'm gonna do that. It'll probably be the morning next time you see me and we'll be on the road, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're just driving right now. This is our last stretch of Canada before we get to the border, and then we can keep heading south to do some better weather, because right now this looks like a winter wonderland, so here we are, Niagara Falls, and we'll cross the border. Ooh, shred it! And we're still on the road. We're almost there. We're gonna go through Buffalo, get through, get to the other side. Here we are at the border. We're reaching Buffalo right now. We'll go through the border. All right, so we're through the border. Me and my man. Hi. <laughs> and um, we kind of just went through a cloud of wet, almost rain, but kind of looking snowish. I'll flip this around and show you guys. So there we are. Luckily, that cloud that we just went through, if you guys look in the rear view mirror, you can see we just went through like a cloud. So we're trying to just scoot through the south. We're in New York State right now, I'm trying to scoot through south of Erie. So Lake Erie, and that's usually where all these weird storms blow off of that lake. So we're trying to get past that and push to Indianapolis, I think just so we can get through some fair weather, but it looks like we kind of just missed that cloud. All right, it's our first gas stop of many. So we're here at Flying J, I think you can see it. Gas stop number one. I don't know how many it's gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna take a tally and let you guys know at the end how many gas stops. Okay, you guys. So it's a little bit later. I think right now it's seven, almost seven o'clock. It's like 30 degrees outside, and this is what we're dealing with. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's snowing, we're pretty much in Columbus, Ohio right now. Just coming up to it. And uh, this should be the last of the bad weather we're hoping we've been checking the weather. And so I think this is it. Also, I think you guys wanted to see, this is what we're getting for gas mileage. So 16.2 miles per gallon is kind of what we're averaging. Right now I think it's a little bit worse. 
Uh, I got a lot of stuff in the back too that's like at least 500 pounds, but between 16 and 17 miles per gallon seems to be what we're getting. But I'll update you guys as we go along. And here we are in Indiana. Ooh, all right guys, so we are almost to Indianapolis. I'm doing another fill up right now, so it's not too bad. Gas is around two, $2.60, so not the end of the world. Um, I filled up once, kind of before we left, filled up twice, so this is kind of technically the third fill up. When we were in Toronto, it was like a, over $100 to fill up, whereas down here, it's only like about $70, so. It's much better to fill it up down here. Um, I anticipate probably about $500 worth of gas, but we're almost about to call tonight. We're gonna get to just about Indianapolis and then we're gonna grab a hotel and wrap up today's long video. So we're gonna keep going and then we should be done soon. And just before I reset this, we got about 370 miles to that tank, but the light didn't come on. I mean, it was getting pretty low, but the light wasn't on. so. Almost 400 miles to a tank, which really isn't too bad for this big pig. All right, so we're parked. We're at our hotel, our motel. We're gonna go in, and we got it backed up right up against the window there, just in case we hear anything funny, but we're all locked up. We got that bully lock on the back that I'll show you guys in another video, and that's gonna be it for this one. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video where we continue this drive. We're just outside of Indianapolis, so we'll be pushing more tomorrow. We made pretty big progress today just because we want to get out of the crappy weather and winter conditions. So see you on the next video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.